Every time the judge asks her something, say, excuse me, judge. <laughs> Fucking judge asks his Conrad Murray greedy, and this old decrepit bitch act like greedy was the worst insult she had ever heard, and her got that greedy. <laughs> oh, Conrad, like, shut your ugly ass up, bitch. <laughs> that was the only problem with Michael Jackson. His fans was too goddamn nice. Nice ass Michael Jackson fans letting Conrad Murray's punk ass go to court every goddamn day with no security. That's why you got to have some ghetto fans. You ain't gonna be able to just kill me, nigga, and go to court like everything is okay. It's gonna be a bitch to hit you with a brick every time you show up to court. Just, I'm here for... Let me just take this time to say that, um, fuck, okay, look, just cut this real quick so I can tell y'all something. <laughs> cut, okay. No, no bullshit. I don't know each of y'all personally, but I always feel a little more comfortable when I'm up here and the people is out here because at the end of the day, I really was never tall, even when I started. <laughs> I never was really special to fucking look at. But when I came to LA, niggas acted like they understood where the fuck I was coming from and allowed a nigga to be that. So when I retired, there was a lot of things going on and I didn't want to come back and tell y'all what the fuck it was because I wanted y'all to be proud of me for some shit, even if I was fucking it up. But then they started arresting a nigga so much. <laughs> Understand, you can only get arrested maybe six times before it ain't fun no more. <laughs> I just want you to understand that if you go to TMZ, you will see the fact that I've been arrested 14 times in 46 months. What I want you to understand is you have never ever in your life seen me standing in a courthouse. Now, put them two things together. Satan ain't shit. Everything he trying to do, he loses at because he ain't shit. His people ain't shit. Nothing he likes is shit. All his people is ugly. They all stank. They was worse off before the recession, during the recession, after the recession. He ain't shit. And so understand that even if they was gonna kill me for the shit I got to say, I don't know why I'm still here in the first motherfucking place. What I do know is, I've been waiting my whole life for 2012. I've been waiting my whole life to think that the end of the goddamn world was finna come. So now niggas, let's say it don't come. Can we agree to at least act like this gonna be our last time on this motherfucker so we can do it right one goddamn time? What I'm telling you is, bitch niggas is done. I know what you've been seeing, I know what you've been looking at. I know you think Tyler Perry must have 46 more cross dressing drag queen movies left in him. I'm not homophobic. I have nothing against gay women at all. Power to the lesbian nation. May we all eat pussy this evening if it's feasible. But it's time for people to stand up for what the fuck they are. Everybody can't be ashamed to tell the goddamn truth. It can't be everybody that won't say what the fuck they meant to say as soon as they get the opportunity. 
Christian people, it's the same for y'all. If y'all so holy, it's time to get motherfucking holy. If you believe in some shit, make sure you got some right shit because I'm trying to tell you, everybody can't be right. I say fuck Bishop Eddie Long and everybody who ever went to his goddamn church is what I say. Fuck the choir, the choir director, the people in the choir, the nigga on drums, fuck them in the parking lot. Not because I'm homophobic, but because I don't think you can preach the gospel with booty on your breath. I just don't think you can. I'm not saying you can't. I don't think you can. It's not my fault. When I was eight years old, they told me a bunch of stories that didn't make no sense. They put me down and sat me right in front of the Bible and told me a story about Sodom and Gomorrah. They told me it was two cities in the Bible where men lay with men. Then they said, the next day, God burnt the whole goddamn two cities to the ground. End of the goddamn story. Now, I don't know what you get out of that story. I told my brother, I don't give a fuck if you are three, nigga. They just said we was gonna burn down our bunk beds if you get in this goddamn bed. <laughs> just what the fuck they told me. I just didn't know. Hey, some of you niggas watch ain't right? Is it two?